Hey YouTube, the Super CDAC here, and today I'm going to show you my Lego collection. Um, this video is kind of inspired by Jastafer's Lego collection. So I just wanted to show mine. Mine's a little bit different to his, obviously. There might be a little bit more variation, but not quite as much capacity. But yeah, let's take a look. First of all, we'll start off with the drawers. Um, here we just have box standard bricks. They're two by bricks. Oh, hang on, there's a one by brick that can go in here. But yeah, that's just basic bricks. And there's another one. Keep on forgetting to put them back in. Right. For goodness sake. Right. Now let's take a look at this. As you notice, this is for one by bricks. It's about half full. And yeah, it's got quite a lot in it. It's got mainly white bricks in it, probably because I use them for houses, so that makes sense to have more white bricks. Here is my weird drawer. We actually just keep very large items and very unusual items in here. For instance, I have a boat engine in here. Yeah, that was from the old fireboat. But you got all sorts in here. Let's take a look. Now we have my plate drawer. This is packed with all sorts of plates. You've got long plates. You've got those brand new 16 by 16 plates. It's got quite a lot in there. And now if I take out this big X Rider tin. Yeah, I'm quite a big fan of the books. But I'll show you what's in there later. Here is my wheel collection. It's also got some windscreens, um, some hookups. But yeah, this is basically meant to be based around the concept of a vehicle. So it even has a bike in there. And now here we have a lot of elements used for houses or buildings. So we have some of the big classic houses. We have some slidey pieces. We have a lot of doors and windows. We've got support. We've got panels here. We've got trees. So basically I use this for um, the more complex parts of my house and maybe the scenery as well and now we move on to this tower here are all my one by one slopes yep I got quite a lot of those let's move that to one side in here I keep animals and robots in there I just take off these spare pieces and yes I have a brick separator who wouldn't have one here are my one by ones yep you got a lot in here I've got all sorts of colors shapes sizes well not really sizes but shapes Here is my minifigure collection. Yeah, I'm a bigger fan of minifigs than I am of Jastifer. So we've got all the torsos and legs in here. We have all the heads stacked up. Originally, I just had a big pile, but then it was hard to actually find the head that I wanted. Here are all my helmets and torso equipment. 
and a whole junk load of accessories. We have a lot in here. We have a huge fork or a pitchfork. We have handcuffs. We have a fire extinguisher. We have handlebars for a quad bike or a lawnmower. So yeah, there's a lot in there. I don't know if it's my most vast collection of one concept, but I can't get it closed because my other hand is on the camera. Let's just put that to the side. Here is my collection of one by one tiles or plates and one by two plates. We have all sorts of colours in here. At the last minute I had to take out all the one by slopes and put them in there. But then I have enough space just to rummage around and find the right piece. So, oh, this would be good for a bit of cement on the pavement. Uh, yeah, so we have some brackets in here, we have some ladders, we have some functional elements, but basic one by twos, we have some jumper plates, we have as usual a lot in there I even have the retro piece as I like to call it I was used on the modular fire brigade let's try and close that up with one hand my goodness is it hard yeah forget it <laughs> And here's a whole box of Technic elements. I even have a battery box in here, so we have some power functions. We have some beams. We have some decorative shaping elements. Some normal half pins and axles. For a Technic collection, it actually has quite a bit of color, which is surprising, really, because Technic based around on one color, maybe a black and a grey as well. So if we put that there now, we move on to this. It's a green box with a grey box inside it. And yes, it's full of one by twos. We even have some functional elements in here. We have bits for a Technic half pin. Um, some of these even have handlebars on them. We have some double Erlings. Yeah, I'm a good fan of Erlings. Now, I cannot pick this up without spilling them all over the place, so I've got to put the camera down. Let's take this up. And now, what's inside the actual green box? All kinds of shaping elements. So I mainly keep round elements in here. I also keep some bows in here. I even keep the Lego City top element. There's one. So yeah. Now to take a look at what's in here. Yes, so I can open it with one hand, finally. Here are all my roof tiles. I even have some inverted roof tiles in here. Um, I even have tops of aeroplanes, but they still count as roof tiles in my books. I'm not going to try and show you what's in there because it's really hard to take the lid off, but it has all my instruction manuals and magazines in there. So let me just put this back on. Take this up and put this back up. Oh. Really annoying reassembling everything. Now I'm actually going to take the camera with it. There we go. Back on. Oops. 
camera nearly slipped. Got to be careful of that. Put these back on. It is quite a job putting them all back on, but it's all right in the end, I guess. Now, finally, it's time to show you what I have in this. Now, if you're a big Lego fan and you know your pieces, you would have guessed what is in here. That's right, smooth tiles. Now, when I collected all my smooth tiles in, I never thought I had this many smooth tiles. I was really impressed. Of course, I don't have as many as Jacefer, but at least I've got those giant 8 by 16 flat tiles. Yeah, we've got quite a lot of colours in here, mainly grey, but still, that's pretty good. So yeah, I never thought I'd have so many black coloured tiles. This was just a big surprise to me. I never thought I'd have so many. So, there you go. That is my whole entire Lego collection. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you later. Bye.